Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm Cam Chak Fisco. Come join me for an indie adventure. Okay, so we have a generator, which is probably out of gas, but we also now have a jar. Uh, it's an empty clay jar. jar. All right, so it is empty. We can use the jar to siphon some gas to be able to fill up the generator at least enough to get it running so we have lights. So, nope, I need to open first. Open gas tank. Use this with the gas tank. Use this with the hose. That's enough. The jar is full. All right. Pick up the hose and close the gas cap. And back down the stairs. Alright, so... Use gas filled jar on... Where is it? Gas filler pipe. I've emptied a jar into the pipe. Uh, use portable generator? Little metal thing. Ah, there it is. It feels like an on-off switch. Use a switch. We have lights! Alright, so this is obviously a trapdoor. You can tell by the seam in the wall, but we can't activate it. Go to the crumbling wall. It's a crumbling rock wall. So let's use the sharp wood. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm, didn't I read about that in the Lost Dialogue? Uh, let's find out. Said, uh, yeah. Crete, no, Crete is a person. Um, I don't remember anything about Crete being said. Maybe he's specifically referring to the, the lesser colony? Because he didn't say anything specifically about Crete. It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've seen that before. Use the sunstone and the round object. Work. Is that a ball these figures are tossing around? Or a stone disc? It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've okay, seen that so before. This might not be the one that we I don't think do that'll this. work. So... I don't think that'll work. Nope. Okay. So, like I said, three crisscrossing paths in my head. I don't remember which one's which, which actually kind of makes us more convoluted to do. All right. So, let's use the peg in the mural, because we see the giant hole in the middle. Let's use the disc on the peg. All right. So, it was the, the rising sun, right? Or was it the, the high thing? The high sun. That didn't do anything. The setting sun? That didn't do anything. There's no way it's the new moon. Sophia? It was the new moon. I thought you were going to leave me in there. Believe me, I was tempted. Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. Distributor cap. It fell on my head when I sank into the hole. And that's not all. Look! I'm guessing a spark plug. What is it? It's nope. an amber fish on a string. I can see that. What does it do? How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Look where the sunstone is centered on the mural. The island of Crete. Yep. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find the greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go! Well, I need to get the disc first. Get the peg. Oh, I get it. I get it. We're going to have to get the spark plug out of the generator. Let me uh, turn this thing off first. So we don't, you know, electrocute ourselves. Push. Nope. Use button. There we go. Pick up ceramic thing. 
Okay, now we can get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Actually, wait, 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 wait. I may have just screwed this up. I want to check something first. Push button. Or use button. Either way is fine. All right, we'll turn the generator back on. I do need the spark plug for the car so we can drive out of here. We do know go to go to go to Crete, but I want to do this first. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. It must be detecting the orichalcum residue. So it detects orichalcum. Um, this is the other reason why I usually prefer not to have her with us because until we reach a certain point, her necklace will always override what the amber fish detects. Can I just be cute? I better turn the up? generator off first. Nope. He makes us turn it off because it's smarter. All right, get the spark plug. All right, so use the spark plug on the engine, then do the distributor cap. What do you know? A perfect fit. It fits. All right, so close the hood. And we should be able to use the car now. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. To Crete! So I'm pretty damn sure we need the Moonstone because this won't work with both. So Algiers was where the Lesser Colony was then because the stone worked there. And the Lesser Colonies, they said there was only one. Then they said there was a greater colony. Obviously, this is Crete. So we need to find the Moonstone before we can move forward. So we can't do the pedestal yet. All right, let's go to the path. Ah, itchy nose. All right, so we need to check out the entire ruins to make sure we have all the items we're going to need for the puzzles. It's a pile of rubble. Can I interact I with it I can't pick that up. Okay, now. So, some of these objects won't matter until a certain point and only if they're the objects that are pointed out. All right, so we want to go up here specifically because we need to get the surveyor's equipment. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. So we're going to need that to be able to figure out where certain things are. Because we have the horns in the middle, and it said everything was aligned via the horns. So where was it? Because the darkness concealed by the tall horns. So yeah. That back. That, thank you. I was trying to figure out where to click to get out of the journal. All right. So we need to cross back over so we can get down below and actually go into the ruins. So let's go over there first. And this is the part where uh, it might not be Indiana Jones. It might be another uh, LucasArts games that integrated the ability to teleport transitioning quickly. So, yeah, it may not have been this one to begin with. Time hasn't been too kind to this room. It's a pile of rubble. All right. All they're holding now is air. They're all empty. All right. Nothing here. So we've got this one, this one. I 
Yeah, that one's not one we can go to, so we got one, two, then more over here. Here we go. It's an ancient diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. Could the circle be one of the stone disks? So we need to find the bull's head, line it up with the left horn. It'll show us where the disk is. The tail with the right horn, and the two combined will show us exactly where we need to go. Which is why we need the surveyor's tool. All they're holding now is air. It's a pile of rubble. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be anything until we can get to a certain point. Actually, no. That's not true, because we can figure out where the tail and the horns are. It's a pile of rubble. Um, can I use it? No. Okay, so let's check the rest of the runes, because there's something that gives us an indicator to let us know which rubble piles to move, because they're actually either the tail or the head underneath. They're all empty. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, the stones look loose. So push the stone. There's a statue here. Found a it's bull's a bull's tail. tail statue. So we need to put this on this. Use it. So we need to line it up with the. Uh... Hi, Sophia. Wait, Sophia, are you literally standing by the? Is that the horns? No, there's the horns. I see the right horn. Okay. That's one. Oops. I see the no, no, right no. horn. I meant to pick it up. Alright, uh, so we just gotta keep looking at the stones and we'll find the ones that are actually... It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, It'll say, oh, 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 there's a statue here. Oh, wow, if that's the case, it's going to be like right there. Jeez. It randomizes which of these stones are each one. So it can literally be any number of combination of patterns by all the stones that are scattered about. All right, I need to use the transit. Sophia, you're blocking the transit. Thank you. Assuming I have these lined up properly, because I don't know if you need it on it or next I to see it. Dirt. Oh, uh, he saw dirt. It wasn't the right horn. Sophia. Right? Well? Oh my god, I didn't mean to talk to her. <laughs> Here we are in the ruins of Gnosis. Hang on a minute. Nurab Sal speaks! He tells me that in his travels, he has walked this ground and bids us find the underworld passage to his ancestral home. Working How on are it? you doing? Radio? <laughs> signals from the fillings in your teeth? <laughs> Still the wise guy. You'll learn. Do you think the Nazis have been here? I don't know, but we should be careful. Something tells me they're not far away. Alright, uh, let's, let's look, look around. around. Okay. Alright, so... There we go. I see the left horn. Okay, now is it gonna work? Hello, what's this? Bingo! Okay. Uh, before we dig that up, I actually want to check the remainder of the runes. I don't remember if there was anything else. It's a pile of rubble. So these are actually the two different runes. It's a pile of rubble. I'm checking because I don't know if one of the piles is actually going to say something different that you can actually interact with. All they're holding now is air. Oh. It's a pile of rubble. Alright. Go upstairs. And then the only thing left is to dig that up, but we'll have to use the ship rib because we don't have a shovel. They're all empty. It's a pile of rubble. Alright, nothing. In other playthroughs, when you're not with her, there are other things you can do in Crete, in Gnosis. But if the X marks the spot. Hey, there's a stone disc down here. It's got a hole got in it. the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. Now we have two of them. And I don't think we need it, but I'm going to grab the transit anyway. Just like I don't know whether or not we need the peg. So some of these things, I don't know if we're going to need or not. Anymore. Oh, well, never mind. See, he lets us know if we don't need an object. Or it'll just automatically discard it. 
So it's the new moon. And what else? I'm gonna have to check the journal. There's travel. Da, 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 gates of the gate of it. Sunstone. Darkness concealed. New Okay, so it's darkness over the horns. The darkest night healed by the full moon. So darkness, full moon. Got it. And that's how we figure these out. Because they give you little clues, you just gotta put them together like the old adventure games. Although I will say the LucasArts games tended to be a little more logical than some other adventure games I've played in the past. Where it's just like X plus bunny equals Sudafed. Like Okay, sure, that's a logic. Alright, so we're gonna need these to be able to use them. Uh, I gotta move further over. Put that on the pedestal. Put this on the pedestal. And use the pedestal. New moon. I. Well, that didn't hit the button. Full moon. Got it. What do you know? A secret door. Yeah, they did. Alright, let's make sure we grab the moonstone and the sunstone before we leave. Alright. So, the legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I think the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for us somewhere beyond that door. Statue heads. It's a bust of Zeus. It's a bust of Apollo. It's a bust of Zeus. Wait, what, where's the other one? It's a bust of Zeus. No, no, the other one. It's a shelf for the busts. It's a bust of Ares. Ares, that's the other one. Okay. So, if we were playing a different path, we'd actually have to find some of the heads in the ruins to be able to open this door. So, different paths, different puzzles. Some paths, you don't even go to it. All right. So, there's a reason we can see this. If only I could reach it from here. I can. I can use my whip to pull it over, but we might not need that on the co-op playthrough. Or the, not the co-op, but the playthrough with her. So, it may not be necessary to whip it into this room. Okay, so this room is like literally just empty. All right, let's go right before we go up. This shouldn't get too windy. All right, so we can't get to that one. All right, so let's go back and go upstairs, because one of them... Yes? I didn't mean to talk to her. Follow me. Lead the way. You know, just to be a smart ass, I have to. Yeah. Yes? Some date, huh? We are not dating, Jones. This is not a date. If it was a date, I would have stood you up. I believe it. Do you think we're lost? Who knows? I'm too lost to think. <laughs> Follow me. Lead the way. All right, so we got to click on the doorway again, get back through. Well, they, he talked about earlier how they thought they liked each other. Turns out they really don't get along. All right, so one of these is going to lead to the cave that I fall out of. Okay, it's not this one. All right, so I don't want to wander too far because uh, I won't be able to map this out in my head as I go. Because this, this gets kind of windy. Yep, we're going to need the, the, the bust. Okay. I'd rather walk back in there. No, use... I'd rather walk back in there. Oh, do I have to learn that picking these up will... I get it. And then you whip the last one off the pedestal. Makes sense. Stay away from the door. Well, this is a point of no return. But we got it. 
My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, go up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fairly well, everyone.